At this year's climate conference in Bonn, Germany, the main focus is on the Paris Accord signed in 2015. But according to the German Chancellor Angela Merkel, that's just the starting point. Speaking at the conference, Merkel and the French President Emmanuel Macron said existing commitments towards climate change just aren't enough. The two leaders welcomed efforts by American states and cities to comply with the Paris Agreement, despite the US President's decision to withdraw. Well, let's go to uh, Bonn now. We have Sarah Morris there. Uh, Sarah, is there a sense there at the uh, conference that the Paris Accord can survive without the support of the US? Yeah, there absolutely is that sense and high-level meetings are going on uh, as we speak. Heads of state and also government uh, officials have been meeting behind closed doors and in front of uh, audiences as well to discuss how they now go forward with this Paris Climate Change Agreement. Of course, in 2015, it was signed with great fanfare and there was the big aim to reduce carbon emissions by 1.5 and, if possible, 2%. What we didn't hear at the time was how that was going to be done and how it was to be policed as well how each country uh, would prove that they were pulling their weight, so to speak. So there's a lot of discussion and perhaps even some fighting going on between the countries now about how they get to that point. Of course, overhanging this conference is the fact that the United States has decided uh, to pull out of the agreement. But interestingly, we're standing in a huge dome tent at the moment uh, and it belongs to the alliance of US uh, states and universities and uh, business owners and also uh, city halls who've decided actually we still want to be a part of this and they formed this alliance there's more than 2500 of them they've come here to the conference to put their hand up and stay say we're still in and we still want to participate in this climate change agreement and one of those who is part of all of this uh, is jennifer benson who is a massachusetts state rep she joins me now jennifer you've come here you want to say you're still part of this but your federal government's not. They're not going to comply. So how do you, as a group, continue to make a difference and help with climate change? So we're looking at policies on both a state and interstate uh, level, working with our neighbors and other states across the country to really pass uh, stringent and far-reaching uh, policies to address climate change. And we're even having talks with some of our international neighbors as well. So even though the federal government has decided through our president that they're taking a step back and not interested in pursuing this, the rest of us are saying, no way, we're in. And can you actually do something tangible? Have you got an example of what's something you might be able to do even though the government's not participating? Well, I'll give an example of something Massachusetts and nine other states have already done. In 2008, we passed a regional greenhouse gas initiative that is a cap-and-trade system on the electric sector. So we are already working in large blocks in the country doing this work. Now we're looking at adding in either the transportation sector or looking at a carbon price for the entire state. And we're already talking with other states around us and across the country to join in with us on that. As I mentioned, there's been a lot of talk at this conference about the U.S. pulling out. We had the French President Emmanuel Macron put his hand up yesterday and say, look, we'll fill the void that the U.S. has left. But as someone who's clearly passionate about climate change, how do you actually feel about the federal government's decision not to be part of this? Well, I think, obviously, it's not only a mistake. I'm angry, personally, that our government has decided to back away and really cede power to the rest of the world. I mean, one of the things we've been trying to do since World War II is work with our global partners in our communities um, to help lead but work together in, in, um, in uh, policies, the security, climate change would definitely be one of those. And this is ending 60 years. Thank you very much for your time there. Uh, Jennifer Benson from uh, Massachusetts there. So as you can see, things are still going ahead despite America not being on board. Thank you, Sarah. Well, don't forget, you can watch all of our special coverage on climate change on TRT World's YouTube channel.